side. There's been a decrease in funding in NASA progressively, and then other companies trying to, private companies, take up the slack in that. Do you think that will hinder or help NASA in the long run, that other private companies are trying to take the place of NASA? Uh, thanks. There's like four different things going on in that, in that very simple question. And I want to separate the variables, as we say in math, and I'm going to hit them one at a time. The relationship between NASA and private industry has been around since the beginning. Grumman on Long Island made the LEM, the Lunar Excursion Module. It's still a point of pride. You walk down the streets, the engineers from that era are still talking about it. Anybody who was a participant in that era, forgetting that it was completely driven by war, were nonetheless enchanted by the fact that we were going to the moon. So there's always been private enterprise participating in NASA's needs. That's not a new thing. The difference is, will NASA have the private enterprise as a link between where they are and where they need to go? They got to get to the space station to use a shuttle or let someone else take you there. That should have been happening 20 years ago. Does the post office have its own airplanes? No, you rent space on the belly of a commercial carrier, put the mail on there and it gets you there faster, cheaper, better with the efficiencies of private enterprise. NASA knows how to get to low Earth orbit. It is not a space frontier. Save NASA for frontier work. And by all means, farm out the routine parts of what it is you need to do. By all means. Should have happened long ago. Here's the difference. Private enterprise will never lead a space frontier. And I've gotten into arguments with people about this, and then they walked away. Because they didn't want that to be true, except it is fundamentally true. Space is large. It's dangerous. And if it's space where you've never been before, the frontier, the risks are unquantified. When those factors converge, you cannot create a capital market valuation of that activity. There are no investors. Oh, let's go someplace, you might die, we don't know if you're going to come back, we don't know how much it'll cost, and we don't know your risk. Give me your money now. That's not how capitalism works, okay? So the people who take the risks are governments. Government. The first Europeans to the New World were government funded. Columbus drew the maps, checked the trade winds, found out who were the, the, the nice Indians and the, and the bad Indians, and, and is there food over there, and what are the safe routes and the harmful routes. He brings that back, that gets disseminated, then the Dutch East India Trading Company comes in behind them. There is no case in the history of commerce where corporations capitalized by investors did something that was hugely expensive and dangerous and unquantified risks. So, by the way, there are a couple of companies, one recently announced that want to mine and exploit asteroids. We've been to asteroids. We know how to do that. It's an engineering frontier to figure out how to scoop it up and bring it and exploit it and use it and take it to the moon, bring it back to Earth. Sure. That's within the, the investive uh, latitude of a company to attract interested um, venture capitalists. Sure. But if we had never been to an asteroid before, no. No. Newt Gingrich even made that mistake when he said, give the money we've given to NASA, to the private industry, we would have had colonies on the moon, on Mars by now. No. Well, yeah, sure, if you pay someone, but then it's not a business model. Yeah, it could be a vanity project. Go get Bill Gates. Bill, take us to Mars. He could do it. It's private money. 
It's not a business model. He's not making money doing that. Sure, you can just spend the money and do it. But if you wanted to turn a space program into a space industry, there's got to be some return on that investment. And that has historically been the role of governments. You can't have one with, without the other. More power to all these companies that want to participate. I, f I foresee the day when the entire solar system is just our backyard. And whatever nobody's done before, that's what NASA's doing. Yes, on the side. 